Okay, I'm uh, recording. So, um, the biggest story right now, currently, is the, uh, the debate yesterday, being arrested. Uh, do you want to just give a little bit about that? And about uh, yesterday, Dr. Jill Stein and myself uh, decided that we would go down to the presidential debates. Uh, we had a larger demonstration planned in the afternoon. But we wanted to talk to somebody from the CPD uh, so that they could come out and speak to us in the press and tell us exactly why uh, Dr. Jill Stein and I have been kept out of the presidential and vice presidential debates. Instead, we were met by several uh, police officers and then there was a standoff uh, between them and myself and Jill. And of course, they won the standoff and we were arrested and we were taken to a secret location. And uh, at the secret location, they took both of our hands and handcuffed them together like this. Uh, and we had to turn sideways and we were connected to a metal chair for eight, uh, eight to nine hours in a warehouse in the middle of nowhere. Wow. And so, uh, and I've, I've had like 200 different arrests for the last 25 years. And I've been uh, chained to uh, a chair before, but never for that length of time. And after the first two or three hours, is uh, when I think Jill and I really began to understand uh, just how much our democracy is in trouble in this country. So. Do you see that? I, you know, I didn't even think about, I didn't even know that kind of conditions. Does this seem like more like kind of the police state mentality with the NDAA and the other ideas? I mean, that's, that seems extreme for a presidential candidate who does qualify to debate, to chair, chain to a chair. I mean, that's almost a, that's almost a tactic for interrogation. I mean... Yes, uh, it was quite bizarre because uh, we had like 13 police officers with us and two or three people from, uh, that were in suits from Secret Service. Uh, this was clearly a political uh, decision to uh, keep us detained uh, this long and uh, really for no reason. They could have easily given us a stay away order or they could have just given us a citation and let us go. Uh, but they made a decision that we wouldn't have access to any press whatsoever throughout the night uh, so that we could speak to uh, our questions regarding the lack of fair debates and uh, regarding our platform as Greens in America. So I think that the general public should be that this is a much larger issue and it goes beyond the Green Party. Uh, it's a question of uh, democracy. And when 85% of the population can vote for us and they are able to keep us out of the debates, everyone in America should be concerned about that.